Our farm here at St Maven, um, about 750 acres we run with a mixture of livestock and arable, or crops. Um, we have beef cows, um, we run nearly 800 sheep. Um, we also grow organic cereals, um, be it wheat, oats, barley, and we also grow conventional potatoes. Um, our other main enterprise which takes up nearly half of our whole farming business is miscanthus, elephant grass. Um, Basically, we, we grow it ourselves, we store it and process it into an animal bedding, mainly marketed for the equine market. Um, and we're also just getting into supplying miscanthus as a fuel in but for biomass boilers um, and also on a smaller scale too. We are organic and we're trying to be self-sustainable. We were using an awful lot of electric and an ever-increasing amount of electric because of our process. Um, each year we were um, adding extra bits. We use well over 100 kilowatt of motors at any one time um, and our electricity bills were going through the roof. So we were looking at, at what we could do to reduce our energy bills. I initially um, contacted Aeolus, um, amongst a couple other companies as well, um, and Aeolus um, straight away um, were certainly interested in our site um, and interested in dealing with us, so uh, we, look, we looked at the endurance um, and here we are now. The side of our turbine, the wind speed was estimated at about 6 metres per second. I think I actually asked Aeolus the question um, a couple of months ago what, what the wind speed had done over the last 12 months, and it was actually slightly under that. It was about 5.7, 5.8 metres per second over the last 12 months. But the turbine itself, in the first 12 months, um, had done just over 190,000 units. Um, which we were very pleased with, um, and that just shows that the wind, the, the average wind speed over the year was slightly down on what an, in an, what it would be in an average year. So we were pleased with that. When we, were, when we first looked at the endurance turbine itself, there were a lot of concerns by the general public in the village that firstly um, they would see the turbine and secondly of the noise. Um, we soon got over the issue of, uh, or the visual issue, um, people didn't seem to worry too much because there wasn't a direct view at this side of the village. Um, so it came down to noise and Aeolus supplied us with all the data we needed. Um, to show um, where the noise or the noise levels, decibel levels would be heard, so distance from the turbine to the nearest residentials. But they were still concerned. Um, Aeolus held an open day. A few people actually went and saw one and they were actually amazed how quiet it was. And we were, um, and that was very early on, which again gave us the confidence that the endurance turbine was the right turbine. Since the turbine has been up, nobody has ever complained about the noise of the turbine. I've had a lot of positive comments that people actually like to look out their windows and see the turbine in the morning to see if it's spinning or not. Um, and you know, people actually like it, um, which says a lot in itself. Mm -hmm. 